let's create a new React app with npx create React app. And let's call it my React app. It will take a couple of minutes, but once it's done creating the app and installing all the dependencies, we can cd into the my React app directory. Before we look at the code, let's go ahead and run npm start, which is going to start up our development server and serve our React application on localhost 3000. As you can see, it is inviting us to edit the app.js file from within the src directory. So let's open our favorite code editor and have a look at what we've got. We get a few things by default when creating our app with create React app. As you can see, we have a src folder where all the files of the React application live. There is also a public folder where we can find the statics files and the index.html template used by React to render our application. If we look inside the index.html file, we can see that this is an almost empty HTML template that contains a single div element with the ID root. This element is exactly where React injects our application to render it in the browser. Next, let's look at the JavaScript entry point of our React application, which is the index.js file inside the src folder. This file is responsible for rendering our application into the DOM through the app component. The app will be rendered in the unique div element we just saw inside the index.html file. Don't worry about the React Street Mod component here, as it is just a tool for identifying and highlighting potential problem in our application. It does not render anything into the DOM. Also, let's go ahead and remove the report web vitals part, as we don't need it for this project. Now, let's have a look at the app.js file. This file is exporting a React functional component that returns a bunch of JSX elements, which is actually what we see in our browser. Before we dive in, let's remove a bunch of things we don't need for this project so we can start from a blank page. We can remove all the JSX and return a single string. Remove the imports at the top of our file. Then we can remove the app.css, the test file, the report with details. We'll actually remove everything except the two files we have looked at, index.js and app.js. All right, we're now ready to get started. 